The final chapter. Crimson Butterfly. Don't stop to look back. Keep going. Mew, there. <gasps> oh, that's a problem. fight them, or you can just run to the shrine. We could leave now, and leave Mayu behind, but... We wouldn't do that to our sister, would we? Yes. Yeah. And there you go, that's the ending of Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Nah, I'm just teasing. That, that's, it's not technically considered an actual ending, it's uh, just a game over. But some people like to consider it a, uh, an ending to the game because you get a special cutscene to it. So what do you say we get back to the actual game? There goes Mayu again, being beckoned away by the butterflies. Mayu! Alright, well, we know where she's going. 
or where she's being taken to. So let's go get her. Also gonna save like any reasonable person would. Alright, so, now before we go off to rescue our sister, I want to take a look at something. Now if this ends up being something and not a waste of time, I'll keep it in the video. But if not, I'll just cut it and move on. Ah! Oh! I hope you guys enjoyed that. I was not expecting that at all. Maybe if nothing else, I'll keep it in just for that. <laughs> we gotta put these guys down. And I don't like fighting with these guys, because they take too long to, to provoke fatal frame shots.
Whew. I was not expecting that, guys. All right, now here's the real reason I wanted to take us over here. And that's the spirit of Yai. Looks like the younger sister did try to come back to save the older sister, but didn't make it in time. It's kind of sad. So let's grab this film over here and get back on with the game. Maybe the spirit of that same woman we did battle with, uh, was it in two chapters ago? I think I called her Broken Woman, but she was actually Falling Woman. Oh, now what is our sister up to? The two chosen children shall be carried to heaven on the wings of a butterfly. is how it was meant to be. No, oh, I almost forgot about that one. The drowned woman that we left behind. So here we are in front of the Kurosawa Mansion. We try to sneak in and take a shorter passage to where we might have to go. Or do we walk in through the front like we own the place? <laughs> Clearly we walk in like we own this place. Something's attention. Right up there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Think he jerks watching us.
Where's our sister? Now, I think I'm going down the right passageway. No, I'm probably not. Yeah, you actually have to go down the opposite path that your sister takes. Because ghosts, you know, demand that ceremony be upheld. I don't know, I'm a bit of a sucker for tradition too, so I won't hold it against them too much. shotgun film. Alright, now apart from where I almost got my uh, block knocked off, this is where uh, this the parts of this chapter get tricky. So we're going to save right now. Alright, now that we've saved, let's go get our sister. doesn't look so pleasant, does it? <laughs> and that's how you make a kasabi. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a problem when the memories start to notice you. starts another kind of boss fight. This is the boss fight with the ceremony master. I think his name is... Was it Ryokan Kurosawa? And this I actually think is a pretty cool boss fight. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll put him down that quick. Circle the room, watching us. And he's got three patterns of attack. That's one of them, when he rushes like that. Now if you time that right, you get him to a fatal frame shot. Let's see, where is he going? Yeah, he teleports around too. Oh, uh, 
that's when he fires some energy um, Again, if you can get the timing right, you can, you can hurt him and dispel his energy shots. Now I'm doing a little jig. He's got a third attack on his power. You may or may not see. Really? Really? This soul spirit orb is still following us around? Let's see if I can dispel it with some more weaker ammo. This is silly. <laughs> I think it's nice of them. I, don't, I wouldn't want to have to fight them again. And <laughs> like I said, I just can't pronounce some of these words. Ah, now you see our blue light is on because there's something else we can take a picture of. Did I miss it? There we go. Seijiro Makabe. The folklorist that got turned into a kusabi. Alright, now we're just gonna unlock this door real quick. But we're not actually going to go through the door yet. We're going to listen to the crystal we just picked up. See if we can find it. Nope. There we go.
Also gonna go back and save because the part coming up next is kind of tedious and a bit dangerous. Now we've got a pretty powerful camera so it shouldn't be that bad. Let's save real quick.